beautiful Gemini. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q and I am here to do your general reading. Going to take a little peeky peek, see what's coming in, what's going out, what's going on with Gemini energy during this powerful, powerful time. We got a lot going on celestially, so you could see it reverberate, you know, right here in this physical reality. The changes that are happening above are also taking place below. And whatever is going on within you, you are seeing the very things uh, transform externally as well. Uh, so as within, so without, as above, so below. Very powerful energy. Uh, we are dealing with a Scorpio energy. Pluto is in retrograde. Mercury's in retrograde. We have, uh, we are still experiencing this eclipse energy. Uh, we also have, you know, that uh, Saturn and Aquarius energy. Uh, so much is taking place. We are in some very um, changing times, beloved. So we're going to dive in, see what the cards have to say, and see how this relates to Gemini energy. Uh, right now on the clock, it is 12.02. That reduces to 5. 5 deals with the throat chakra, so you are learning to express yourself. We have flowetry, uh, and this is called floetic. So I feel like with 5, I feel like maybe some of you all are communicating more. Uh, maybe you are authors, communicators. Maybe you disseminate information. Maybe you are learning what your passion is, your path. You're following something. Maybe you are honing a skill, gift, or talent, sharpening your sword. Uh, the five is associated with the hierophant as well. So I do get a sense of seeking wise counsel, seeking, you know, perhaps higher learning, sitting at the feet of elders, master teachers, uh, maybe even maternal and paternal uh, figures in your family, but I do get a, a sense of a scholarly energy or tutelage, uh, building your wealth of knowledge, reading, researching, uh, investigating. Um, this time is a very critical time, vital time, so maybe you are looking to uh, embark upon some sort of new career path, or maybe you are uh, discovering that you have passion in a certain area, so you could be kind of researching and learning more about that area of interest, but um, beautiful energy, maybe communication with someone from your past that you haven't spoken to uh, will also happen during this time, or maybe there will be a very much, a much needed conversation which takes place uh, during this time as well. Something is going to either be confessed, expressed, uh, you know, revealed, um, and this is something I'm hearing that was concealed. So maybe this was something that was hidden and I feel like it's now going to be brought to light. So I feel spirit is telling you to go with the flow. Uh, don't go against the current. Just go with the flow wherever this news, wherever this information takes you, uh, whether emotionally, um, just go with the flow. Like don't allow yourselves uh, to be angered because whoever angers you controls you. Just allow whatever comes in. Um, just just accept it as someone else's truth. Uh, do not allow anyone to deflect or project anything onto you. So protect yourself. You know, create a protective uh, bubble around yourself. Um, but also be mindful of what you say as well because it can be misconstrued. Uh, someone may be um, or misunderstood. Uh, so let's just tap in, see what the cards have to say. All right. How will you all are having a beautiful day thus far? And so we have on the bottom of the deck, we have visions. So use your first eye. Use discernment. Trust what you feel. You see how that first eye is wide open. I feel like spirit is saying you're regal, you're royal. Um, so don't believe everything that's said, uh, you know, you don't have to accept everything that's said. Um, I feel like you will also know intuitively when someone is being honest or not. So just be mindful of that with this full moon right behind her. I get a sense of, you know, spirit just saying during this full moon, there could possibly be, you know, some things that will come out. Uh, and, and spirit is just, you know, forewarning you to trust your intuition, 
when it does, you know. Um, and we have Joe, and this is called the love scene. And so you may be dealing with someone named Joe, first, middle, or last. Uh, with the love scene, someone could be confessing or communicating their love for you. On the split, we have um, rescue. So we have rescue and then we have vision. So I get a sense like, you know, maybe spirit is um, is aiding you and getting and breaking free and getting away from something or someone uh, that it, it, the connection is no longer serving your highest good. I get a sense of like being really caught up, you know, having deep depression sadness confusion and there's just this this freedom that you will uh feel like someone is going to come and and free you from a situation someone is going to come and come to your aid whoever this person is i feel like you will know intuitively that that person was sent by the divine you will know, you will just feel it in your gut. And with the love scene, it's like pay attention to your surroundings and pay attention to people's actions as well. So let's tap in and see. Let's see what the cards have to say, beloveds. Let's see what the cards have to say. But you are being released, so you got a couple of cards that flew out. Okay, and I'm going to take this one because you see how it's sideways. So I'm going to take that card as well. And on the bottom of the deck, we have forgiveness. Forgiveness is always for you. So when you forgive someone for their misdeeds, that frees you. You see how this bird was caged and she's releasing it. So forgiveness frees you from a circumstance. And this bird almost looks like, you know, Phoenix rising from the ashes almost. So you have three cards, four cards that flew out. You got your five cards here. They all chose themselves. So Gemini, this freedom, this is about freeing your dome as well. So forgiveness, you may be holding on to animosity and resentment. Uh, someone could have lied to you. Someone could have betrayed you. Um, someone could have told you they loved you, but they did not show you they loved you. Um, and you were all in. And then this person could have left you, you know, left you for someone else. Or maybe this person, um, uh, you know, kind of emotionally manipulated you. I felt depression earlier when that release card showed up. I feel someone, uh, spirit, freed you from that circumstance. Fr spirit freed you from that situation. And now they're giving you an opportunity to free your mind. Um, the mind is the devil's playground. This cage uh, is, an, is a prison, you know, for a bird. To put a bird in a cage is, is it's, it's very, um, it's not kind, <laughs> you know, because birds are meant to free you know, freely fly, fly free. It's meant to soar. Uh, they can't do that in a cage. You know, they can't do that in a one 1,200 square foot apartment. You know, they can't do that in a 3,000 square foot apartment. They're meant to fly free and to, you know, to, to be free, you know. And when you're caged, uh, that is a very sad existence. And I feel that cage is um, an analogy it's analogous of your mind so I feel like forgiveness is for you you know because you could be holding on to anger frustration resentment animosity maybe there's regrets you know that uh, hinder you as well you may have regrets for things that may have taken place in the past I'm going to take this card because it's separate from the others and this is Gaia so I feel like grounding yourself and connecting to Mother Gaia was, will be um, vital in you freeing yourself from a circumstance um, or even a belief system. I feel like there's, you know, heavy is the head that wears the crown. And so I feel for many of you, um, there were a lot of burdens. And Mother Gaia, Daughter Earth reminds you of the importance to ground yourself, to meditate, to get out of your head space and to get within your body, to connect with your body, to connect with your feelings, your emotions. Uh, and you can only do that through meditating, through taking that time to step away, through taking that time to go on a vacation, to just unwind. Um, so I feel like Mother Gaia is reminding you to get out in nature, 
uh, to be amongst the trees, to be amongst those bodies of water. Uh, you do have a very profound um, and strong connection to Mother Gaia. So you may be called to be an environmentalist. Uh, you may also have some sort of affinity uh, towards trees. Uh, you may like to hike. I do get a sense of there being clarity um, when you go out in nature, like you receiving major downloads, you receiving uh, some sort of transmissions or divine interventions from spirit. Uh, you will spiral up. So that means you will find yourself ascending, growing. Uh, the more that you connect, the more that you uh, ground yourself. So that's beautiful. What we have next is we have guidance. So just as I said, receiving those divine interventions. Some of you could be doing tarot card readings or you could be getting tarot card readings. I absolutely feel uh, Spirit is saying that you will receive the necessary instruction, download, um, interventions, transmissions uh, that you are seeking when you are out in nature. So whatever you're seeking, uh, if you look on this card, uh, it looks like the sun, the moon, and the stars. So this is speaking to, you know, as above, so below. Uh, a lot of celestial energy, if you look at those cards, is the sun, moon, and the star on those cards. So that's about celestial energy. And as I said, we're in the sun sign of Taurus. The stars always represent uh, some prayer or petition that you're sending up, um, perhaps a wish fulfillment, maybe an answered prayer or miracle that takes place. And the moon is all about what's hidden. Uh, this could even be, you know, our emotions, not really knowing how to navigate those emotions and the need to take those deep dives and do that internal self audit so that we can be grounded. So I feel like spirit is perhaps instructing you to to really connect uh, and you will receive the answers uh, that you um, are seeking. Uh, we have Guapoli, um, not Guapoli, Granique, and this is star of the story. So as I'm speaking of the celestial energy of the star, sun, moon and stars that are seen on these uh, tarot cards that she is looking at, uh, we have star of the story. So you are the star of your story, Gemini. So remember the mind um, is very powerful uh, in, in what you think right now, what you harbor on, what you are constantly um, constantly ruminating and pining over you could create that reality so be mindful of your thoughts because I feel like that's why spirit is telling you to get out in nature because you may be uh, imprisoned mentally uh, you may be kind of debilitating yourself uh, by the way that you're thinking of a situation which is why this card is depicted as this feminine energy freeing the bird this bird is representative of what's happening within her mind so she has to free her mind free dome free freedom is free dome when your mind is free you're free so this is a powerful energy next card you have is uh the release so that release card another card of freeing a bird you see that and birds are indicative of you know, angelic. It's like they teeter between uh, the spiritual and the earthly realm, you know, especially being as though they fly. So it's about getting rid of old belief systems, releasing what no longer serves you, no longer carrying burdens, no longer carrying um, the weight of the world on your shoulder. Um, this bird is also a messenger. So I feel like your angels are also reminding you of uh, what you need to release, whether it be a perspective, a thought process, whether it be an ideology, um, a habit, a behavior. Uh, that is why they are allowing you to, um, to you have to uh, affect the change. Um, it's up to you to change your reality, as I said, because you are you know, you are the only one that could fulfill your destiny. So with this Gaia card and this guidance card and this release card, along with this forgiveness card, uh, perhaps you need to forgive yourself uh, for your past, for some things that you may have been holding on to. Um, 
for things that you may have regrets about. And I also feel it's important to express your truth. Perhaps journaling uh, will be very effective um, and essential in allowing you to speak your truth. Remember the throat chakra that number five started the reading. And so I said the throat chakra. Uh, we have right now um, Michelle and Dale Cello, and this is called uh, Andromeda and the Milky Way. And so this is, you know, celestial energy yet again being referenced. So I do feel spirit is just emphasizing how this celestial energy right now is really affecting you and what it's going to trigger within you um, because this energy is all about change and transformation. Scorpio energy are, you know, they are seen as the conduits of change. Um, they also transmute energy. Uh, so you could be going through a death, a death of the old version of you and the birth of a new virgin version of you. Um, so this is powerful. What's hidden in the energy, my beautiful Gemini, is you have rebirth. So as I was just chiming in on scorpionic energy and transformation, rebirth is right there. So this is about the death. You are absolutely coming out of that dark night of the soul journey. You can see she's leaving this tunnel and she's exiting it and there's a bat there. And with this energy, some of you could be dealing with, um, you know, a Scorpio. You could have a Scorpio uh, placement in your chart. But this is really uh, speaking of your renewed and fresh perspective uh, coming out of a situation wiser, stronger. Um, if you look, that is a moon, you know, that full moon there is a uh, um, very, very, very um, pivotal. And I feel what this is saying, what's hidden is that you are going through a startling metamorphosis. And this bat is nocturnal. So there could be, uh, you know, a lot of, of, you know, things that you were in the dark about, you know, maybe there were some things that were hidden from you, uh, that you are now able to see very clearly um, you can see there are clouds just above her and then there are also stars so I do feel like the clouds are dissipating which means that you're gaining more clarity um, you're coming out of this dark night of the soul journey and you are entering into a new phase new stage some of you all have prayed for this moment in time um, whilst others of you uh, this is just your time this is what was written in the stars. This is what was written in the books for you. Uh, your outcome is we have sanctuary. So this is all about creating a safe space. Uh, you've created a very safe space, a sacred space. I feel like you've been doing exactly what I said, uh, learning. You know, she's reading, she's researching, um, and she has created a space where she can do so. So you have gone uh, perhaps on a vacation and in this vacation, you know, you have allowed yourself, you know, the grace to really connect with yourself, to really unwind. Uh, I definitely get a sense of you feeling at ease, feeling a sense of peace um, and a sense of comfort wherever you are. Uh, the waters are still. So I do get a sense of, you know, just a beautiful, calm energy, feeling very content, very, feeling very um you know, feeling very sure, you know, about yourself, confident even. Uh, but this is beautiful because you're in a sacred space that you have created, uh, Gemini. And that means that you got out of your head, uh, that you're no longer uh, juggling with multiple things at the same time. You're no longer like scrambled. You're no longer dealing with, you know, being in two minds. Uh, that is the plight of you know a Gemini because they have that yin yang or that dual um, you know kind of energy you know it's, it's, it's like uh, two personalities and so you have to learn to to balance the two and so I do feel like you know finding something that you are passionate about or finding you know whatever your uh, desires are it's like when you delve into that um, you'll feel at ease and there is uh what is that is that a dog or is that a cat 
that is a cat. So yeah, you're very in tune too. I feel like the the more you connect, you know, I feel like the more you tap into your divinity as a creative, as that divine feminine or masculine, I feel like the sharper your intuition gets. Because remember, we saw the visions card with the first eye wide open when we first touched the deck. So I feel like the more you um, master your craft, the sharper your intuition gets, the wiser you become, you know, because when you're reading, you know, you're you're literally um, you're feeding your your mind. The brain is a muscle. So the more you feed it, the stronger it gets. So I feel you're preparing yourself perhaps for what your your soul's mission is uh, and you will be embarking upon that I feel like you may have taken a vacation as I said you got away um, so that you can collect your thoughts so that you can you know see things clearer because when you are amongst all of the confusion it's harder to see so this also could be like you know you coming out of that cave like the hermit you were in solitude learning something um, and that's how you were able to uh, discern or decipher uh, what needs to be released out of your life uh, and that's because you've taken your power back you've transformed into someone who's completely uh, completely owning their power so that's beautiful but this is your reading my beautiful Gemini's I hope that the message resonated for you if you found that it did Please be kind, hit the like, share, subscribe button, definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe peace.